Hey, Love Island Nugget video. I haven't done one of these in a while, so you know that if I'm doing this, I'm definitely interested when it comes to this conversation. But let's talk about this because we got a lot to go through. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back in again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get straight into this mess because this is exactly what it is. So we're going to break this down and get into Ekansu and Davide first. They have both broken up and they both announced it in their statements. I don't really need to read it out. They both just obviously explained that they have broken up again and that things weren't going well. Ekansu was the first one to break her silence. One thing Davide did say in his statement was that he thought that they would do a agreed statement together like they both agreed but clearly that's not take place which goes to show that perhaps Ekin put something out without him knowing and clearly he isn't liked or pleased about that but I will say Davide's statement this time round much better and he keeps it more sweet packaged and just keep it as that. They've both broken up officially now let them both go their own ways. It is what it is. Wish them both well and you know what yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. But when it comes to Kaz, I really want to break this down and I really want to talk about it. I feel like she's having the worst experience that we have ever seen for a woman of color, especially a black woman on Love Island, because it is absolutely insane how this woman is being treated. And I think that this entire setup for a woman of color, especially a black woman, is flawed when it comes to all stars, because if ex-islanders on their respective seasons were not beelining or into black women why would they then suddenly be into Kaz coming into the show if that was the case and therefore this sets up Kaz in a very disadvantaged position where she's unable to find anybody and I think over the past two weeks the way that this woman has been disrespected is absolutely insane and wild I'm coming from a different position than the viewers I've known Kaz and I know that Kaz gets people. Kaz, you know, is somebody who gets men. Men are very much interested in Kaz. You know, she's very much desired by men. I have seen this, I know this. So the way it's been, you know, planted on TV is that the woman is very undesirable, no one likes her, she's clapped. That's what it's basically looking like on TV when that's far from the truth when it comes to actually reality. And this is a reality TV show, so it's very unfair the way that this woman is being treated. It feels like a setup because nobody is coming up interested in her for the first two weeks. Two weeks, guys. Louis was not interested in her. He genuinely really wanted Demi. He even said it that, you know, Demi, you're you. Like, Kaz is not you, I want you. Obviously he went through that. Then it went through another situation where she ends up being the villa therapist for everybody else. Then, you know, she's picked in recoupling speeches as a friend and no girl deserves that as well. And then when it comes to the snog Mary pie situation, she's kissed or married because, you know, um, not even kissed, sorry. She's married uh, because she would make someone else a good wife or a good XYZ. And then the situation with Tyler, nothing really took place. And I'm glad that it did not because I don't think Tyler and Kaz would be genuine as a relationship. If he pressed it on her, she would have entertained it. But she said something very intriguing to me in that breakdown of their relationship. She said she felt very lonely in that relationship. They were only together for three months. The three months should be your honeymoon period. So for the fact that she felt lonely means that I don't believe Tyler was that very much interested in her anyways from the, from the start or to begin with. And perhaps it was producer meddling. I do think Kaz is being used. And for those who are saying she's in there for the bag, let her get her bag. She is the least most gained followed amount from a girl on the show. You know, there are islanders like Georgia Steele who are gaining hundreds of followers, hundreds of thousands, and she is at the bottom in terms of how much new followers she's gained. So I don't know what bag she's going to get from going on the show, to be honest with you, especially when she gained far more from her original season. If your original season respectively had significantly higher ratings and viewership, what new bag are you collecting from this all-star that's going to induce longevity? Because I would like to know. It doesn't make any sense. So I think that she is really facing a significantly awful experience when it comes to the show. Only a couple of days ago, she was then crying because of the situation with Tyler and that it was just awkward and weird to see. Then new bombshells are coming in tonight. It might be Michael from season five, Love Island, but would he be lying for Kaz? I don't know, guys. And I think that this woman is really having a horrific time, probably one of the worst that I have ever seen on Love Island, in my opinion, in Love Island history. I think this setup of an all-stars is going to put a woman of color, a black woman, it's, it's, it's just going to put them in a very negative position. And I didn't really consider it or understand it until I saw this season pan out. I do have some sympathy for her for the fact that she's going through this. Um, in terms of me wanting her to leave, that's really a decision up to her. I don't think anybody should be saying, oh, you know, she needs to go, she needs to leave. That's something that's up to her if she wants to feel like doing that. Um, like Jake, if that's what she wants to do, that's what she will do. It's really up to her. But I think that this is actually mad. And this is why I really wanted to make this video. If we really deep it, the madness of her journey on the show and what she's going through, I feel like she was set up from the beginning. Unfortunately, I don't know what this is going to bring her on a, on a longevity level. And I just feel like 
as time goes on for the next three weeks, we are halfway through this All Stars and not one person is genuinely interested in Kaz as an ex-Islander is wild. Then the producers will say, oh, go in there and go for Kaz. Then it's not going to be genuine. And then she's going to end up being played all over again by somebody. So I just feel like the producers, what they're dealing with, they should be putting her in a better position. And I don't think that that was considered at all. And it's very much unfortunate to see because it's just insane and wild that she's not being chatted up to by anyone. She's seen as a villa therapist. She's seen as the one who has to make sure everybody else is okay. The recoupling speeches, you know, to be picked as a friend is damning to your personality, your ego, who you are as a person. Then, you know, on the Snog Mary Pie, you're not really picked or selected. It's just you're always othered by in, in every scenario and it's very damning to who you are mentally. So, like it, I'm honestly speechless by what I've seen when it comes to her journey. Like I know she's probably going through it mentally, especially when you're not even going to get. You know, I know for a fact these Islanders are not getting paid shit to go on Love Island All Stars in comparison to the girls on Games. These lot are not getting nothing, so you're not even getting a bag within itself like that. So she's not the only one suffering. Liberty's gone through stuff. Hannah's gone through stuff. Granted, yes, but they've had options or had situations to deal with. I don't know that to be for Kaz, and I don't think Louis was genuinely interested. And even if Louis was, I would not want him to be anywhere near that woman or any or any woman to be honest with you and i don't think him and demi are even working out anyways oh lord i just feel like we need to open this discussion because i feel like we're all seeing it and i don't think people are really talking about it or discussing it and i don't know why like yes this isn't all stars they can do what they want it's all casual nothing's gonna really happen it's laid back tv but that doesn't mean that she can't have options or should have that in this in the scenario and situation and i just feel like nothing is going down that way and it's just really sad to see that's what i can really describe it it's just sad to see and then to see her cry over tyler again it's just it's just all just sad to see guys i feel like this is the worst experience that i've seen for women of color black woman on the show this all-stars predicament and i feel like this could be a setup for black women or women of color or those who have struggled going on to love island for future all-stars and i don't know um like it's just it's just sad make of this what you will do subscribe to the channel click that button and i'll catch you guys soon for another video